please welcome Robin Williams. I've had heart surgery, thank you. <laughs> nice to be in Washington where the buck stops here. Way to go. And then it's handed out to AIG and many other people. Now, I have the new Timothy Geithner $20 bill. It's just been printed, kind of neat. Instead of in God we trust, it just says, trust me. And it says, spend before Tuesday. And also, instead of Andrew Jackson, it has a little man from Monopoly going, And I know many of you have been looking for Sarah Palin's book. It is a bitch to find. Good luck. <laughs> I found it somewhere between fiction and nonfiction in the fantasy aisle. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> Wonderful. You get, you get the feeling with Sarah Palin in high school, she was voted least likely to write a book and most likely to burn one. Do you think that might have been? <laughs> She's pretty wild, baby. I love her. And also, Oprah, Oprah has retired, is gonna retire her show. Please say it isn't so, Oprah's gonna retire her show. I hope she's not bummed out about losing the Olympics. I hope that's not it. It wasn't really fair. Chicago sent Oprah and Michelle, Brazil sent 50 strippers and a pound of blow. It's like, what? Do you think the Olympic Committee was going, Oprah, shave pussy. Oprah, would you? Okay, we're gonna have to go this way. <laughs> and who the fuck thinks that Rio is safer than Chicago? My God. They're gonna have to make kidnapping and waxing Olympic events. <laughs> Degree of difficulty, 5.3. <laughs> <laughs> but it is interesting. They have the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, and the torch is heading across Canada right now, and already in BC, they're lighting torches going, <laughs> we're waiting. Come on, you folks, just came from Capitol Hill. Come on down, where do you go? <laughs> How are you, my friends? Get, grab some seats. You were caught in... What? Oh, that's your old boss. Did you fuck him? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Not an inappropriate question to ask in Washington. No. And he's going, no, no! She was just a page. It took it. <laughs> and it's weird, in California this summer, all the state parks caught on fire, which was sad because these parks are full of weed. It's bad news. <laughs> it's like, even the guys fighting the fires are like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, make another rainbow, Tommy. <laughs> oh my God. It's weird. Even Smokey the Bear is going, only you can. <laughs> Shit, I knew this. <laughs> and California weed is kick ass fucking weed. This is weed that even Jamaicans go, oh, don't smoke that weed, man. <laughs> it's California catatonic. It's a type of weed you hit it and it's like, fuck. <laughs> Shit. I'm not doing something. <laughs> What is it? All oh, right, breathe. Oh. And you get so stoned, you end up sitting on your couch for a week to the point where your cat's going, get up, you asshole. I've been eating my own shit for the last two days. I know mellow, but this is fucking ridiculous. And if they legalize it, they're gonna have to regulate it and they're gonna have to put a warning on a box of joints. It's gonna have to say, Surgeon General has determined this will make your music awesome. <laughs> Even Yanni. <laughs> and if you thought you enjoyed cartoons before, <laughs> like, hey. 
And if they're going to have ads, they're going to have ads, and it'll be like, instead of the Marlboro Man, it'll be the Mendocino Man. It'll be a cowboy in the back of a horse going, shit, am I thirsty? God damn. <laughs> Even the horse will be going, I don't know where the fuck I am. God damn, I got a little cotton mouth here. I got nothing. And the weird fucking thing with these weather systems, the storms right now have been fucking insane. Kick-ass tornadoes in the Midwest. It used to be in the Midwest when you had a tornado. It's like, everybody get in the root cellar. Not anymore. Two fuckers are like, get a video camera. Get outside. <laughs> Film it, Bobby. How's the tornado? It just blew my pants off. Keep shooting. Fucking A. You know the difference between a tornado and divorce in the South? Nothing. Someone's losing a trailer, number one. <laughs> it's like, mm. God damn. The hurricanes have been getting bigger and fucking bigger, and they usually give them names that don't really inspire fear. Like, Hurricane Terrence does not inspire fear. This sounds like a slightly gay hurricane. <laughs> Where are you going? I might go to Boca, I might go to South Beach, I don't know. All I know is blowing is involved. <laughs> yes. And they should name the hurricanes after the people it's gonna be fucking with. If it's going to Texas, Hurricane Billy Ray, come on now. What are you gonna do, fuck shit up, that's what goes on. If it's off the coast of Miami, Hurricane Bernie, hello. He took our 401k, the gun is coming back for the house. Move out, let's fucking go. And when they named the hurricane, Hurricane Ike, and when finally they have the balls to name a hurricane after a crack smoking wife beating motherfucker, yeah. Even Tina Turner would go, you better get your shit and get out of the house. Because Ike never does anything nice and easy, never. <laughs> and the hurricanes have been getting so big that even the guy on the Weather Channel is freaked out. He's going, okay, let's go to our new hurricane weather map. Fuck! <laughs> this is Hurricane Siobhan. The map is the entire south. The asshole in the middle is Dallas. <laughs> um, crazy. Back to you, Ted, I just shit myself. <laughs> and they always go down to some poor fuckers on the coast in the middle of the storm going, Carl, how's it down there on the coast? Not bad. <laughs> Seems to be kicking up. <laughs> and then there's always the aftermath where they interview some family standing in the wreckage of their beach house and they're always going like, hurricane came and tore everything up. And we had just rebuilt. Time out. <laughs> How often do you rebuild? Every year? <laughs> Why do you rebuild here? We love the view. <laughs> well, you may want to get some styrofoam furniture that goes up and fucking down. <laughs> some things that you can hose off, maybe. <laughs> but the weird thing is, I can't give them shit. I live in California. I live on God's Etch-a-Sketch. It's crazy. <laughs> we have earthquakes every other day, and you get kind of blasé, like, oh, fuck. 2.5, not bad. <laughs> oh, shit! 5.8, maybe we should have drinks outside. Let's go. <laughs> and they always talk about the big one. I was in a 7.5 earthquake. That was a fuck me moment. That was a, ah! And they went, that was not the big one. <laughs> really? Well, what will the big one be? Well, in the big one, if there is the big earthquake, Nevada will be wine country, number one. <laughs> and when will the big one be? Well, we have a window of opportunity. Well, what will that be? Could be tomorrow. Or 10,000 years from now. Well, thanks for the fucking heads up. The only warning you have is if your cat is spread-eagled in the doorway like, Ehh! get the fuck out. And if your parrot starts going, pack the car, pack the car. Food and water, food and water. Also, if you have a parrot, do not leave them in the bedroom. They hear everything. All of a sudden, you'll have guests over for dinner, and the parrot will go, Not the ass. Whoa. <laughs> Petey. <laughs> He's been watching porn again. <laughs> Fuck me, Teddy. Fuck me hard. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, who's Teddy? <laughs> hmm. And the weird thing is, you try and do your part to reduce your carbon footprint. And if you have a hybrid, God bless you, sweet cars, but especially if you drive them outside a major city, you get into little cities, especially in the south, it becomes kind of interesting. You pull into a small gas station, it's like, the fuck is that? 
Bobby, get over here. It's one of them new inbreds. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, looks like a Volkswagen fucked a golf cart. God damn. <laughs> I did not hear you come in. <laughs> you may want to put some cards in the spokes of your wheels <laughs> so you make some fucking noise. And that's why there's not going to be any NASCAR hybrid race. A NASCAR hybrid race would be like, here they come. And I love the guys who say, I watch NASCAR for the racing. Yeah, and I watch porn for the acting. You liar! <laughs> you watch NASCAR to see Team Viagra spin out in flames and a guy get out with his pubes on fire going, I'm okay! <laughs> and there was a guy in the South who said, they should have NASCAR in the Olympics. And it's like, mm-hmm. At that moment, even Darwin was going, come with me. <laughs> this is the ascent of man. You stand here. But it's weird, too. You recycle, God bless you, you recycle, good for you, congratulations. But if you recycle, there's one group who is really pissed off. That group are the raccoons. They are going through your recycling like, what the fuck is this shit? Where are the hefty bags, the pinata of life that used to feed an entire fucking family? This is glass and plastic. I can't digest this shit, you green asshole. I'm spreading this shit all over your lawn. I'm taking a dump in your pool, too. I don't know why I made the raccoons Irish, but it works. Nah. And they're ballsy little motherfuckers, too. You turn on the light, they look at you like, what the fuck are you gonna do? I gotta skunk his back up. Don't make me call him. And they've got those little jazz paws. Jazz paws! They can open doors, cabinets, I'm amazed you don't come home and find them on the computer going, I'm ordering shit, how you doing? <laughs> the dog knows I'm here, I locked him in the fucking closet, he's an idiot, too late. <laughs> and the deer in California have total amnesty, because they know no one's going to cap their ass and strap them to the front of a Range Rover and go downtown for a mocha. They walk, they walk through your yard like supermodels with hooves, like, hi. <laughs> Are these your roses? Oh my God, a deer fence. <laughs> and I love the five-point buck that jump out in front of your car like, I hope you're insured. Because I'm taking you out. This is revenge for my brother who's hanging in a bar in Tennessee. Fuck you. <laughs> and we have coyotes, which are like dogs on crack. They come into your yard looking like, hey, I'm a dog. Woo, woo, I'm a fucking dog. Hey, listen, hey, uh, listen. Do you have any small animals you don't need? And I'm sure your cat is sitting in the back going, I will shit in the box. Don't send me out there. Those things eat pussy. Don't send me out there. And if you have a cat and a dog and they live together, do you think your cat mind fucks your dog? I don't think it's fair. I think the moment you go to sleep, the cat's like, Scooby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Scooby, are you man's best friend? Oh, God, yeah, I love him. I love him. Really? Then where are your balls? <laughs> Shit, they were there yesterday. I wonder why my ass tasted differently. I'm just saying that's weird. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that's weird. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and people in California give their cats Prozac. How much more mellow can a fucking animal be? <laughs> but that's California.